Hey, my name is uh, Michael Friss. I'm a product manager at Docker. Today, we're excited to announce um, the private betas of Docker for AWS and Docker for Azure. Um, Docker for AWS and Azure are to operations what Docker for Mac and Windows are to developers. That is really easy ways to uh, install, configure, set up, and maintain uh, installations of the Docker platform in the, in the public cloud. Um, Docker for AWS and Azure come out of the box with the new Docker 112 engine, um, and it's a full uh, swarm uh, setup out of the box with end-to-end -end encryption, declarative service API, um, and all the other goodness that came out with the 112 release. Um, let's dive in and look at a look at a demo to get a better idea of um, how these work. Alrighty, uh, let's dig into Docker for AWS with a short demo. So what will happen once you uh, get into the beta uh, is that we'll send you an email that has a few setup instructions and it has a uh, launch stack link uh, that I'm just going to click. Um, that'll take you to the AWS uh, console. Um, you can deploy using the AWS web console, using the CLI or even the API if you want. For ease, I'm just going to use the, uh, the AWS console. So I have to name my stack, and then I'm prompted to choose the number of manager and worker nodes that I want. For simple testing, one manager is fine, uh, but if you want a more durable cluster, then you should get more managers, and I'm just going to choose two worker nodes. And again, for instance size, uh, T2 micros are great for testing. And finally, I have to choose a uh, SSH key that I want to access my, my swarm with. So I'll hit next a couple of times, and then I'll get to the summary, and then once I click create, um, Docker and AWS will start spinning up uh, the swarm. That takes a couple of minutes, uh, so I actually have one pre-created already uh, over here. So we can kind of take a look at the resources that were created, and you can see there's um, some load balances. Everything is running inside of a VPC, and there's scaling groups for both the manager managers and the worker nodes. Um, if you look at the outputs, you can see you get a SSH command that you can run. And that's basically what's going to get you into your newly created uh, swarm. Um, so I'll SSH into my, my swarm. And you can see it says, welcome to Docker. And now uh, I have a fully ready to use a, a Docker 1.12 uh, swarm. So I can do Docker node LS to see the participating nodes. You can see my one leader, which is the one I'm on right now, and then the two worker nodes. And I can start running um, Docker apps. So I can do a Docker run Hello World, for example, just like you would on your uh, laptop. And there we go. Um, so to show you the power of the way Docker is integrated with AWS, I'm just going to deploy a simple uh, Nginx uh, web server um, as, as uh, using the new Docker service uh, concept. Um, so I'll do that like this. It's very similar to Docker Run. It's just Docker Service Create, and I'll specify the number of replicas I want, just one for this, uh, and then a port mapping. Um, and what Docker does with that port mapping is same as on your laptop. Um, when Docker for AWS sees this, um, we'll open port 80 on the ELB, uh, the elastic load balancer on Amazon, to your containers running in Docker. Um, so another one of the outputs was uh, what we call a default DNS target, which is um, where you can access sites and other stuff running on your running on your Docker for AWS installation. And you can indeed see that we get the Nginx welcome page. If you actually ran a, a serious site on this, you could then map uh, DNS for your for your custom domain there. You can also I can also show uh, scaling uh, scaling the Nginx uh, service actually. Um, so it's as simple as Docker service scale in Nginx equals five. We can do Docker services ls. And then we should see the, the additional replicas coming up. Um, so let's follow them, them right now. Um, that's all for this short demo. Um, go sign up for Docker for AWS at beta.docker.com and let us know what you think about it. Thanks. So that's it for the demo. Um, I hope it gave you a better idea of how Docker for AWS and Azure work um, and that you want to go try it out. 
Um, so if you're interested, sign up at beta.docker.com and we'll be in touch with um, setup instructions shortly. Thanks for watching.